Okay, you guys, here it is, 7 o'clock on a Monday. Um, so what do you do as an Airbnb co-host when at 7 p.m. on a Monday, the current guest says, the hot tub will not go over 99 degrees. We want it hotter. One, I think I've used maybe two hot tubs in my life. Two, I don't even know what brand or type of hot tub this is because I just took over, uh, you know, managing these, you know, a month and a half, two months ago, max. And three, if we don't make them happy, we get a bad review. I mean, you know, they didn't say that, but, you know, people book a place with a hot tub because they want to use the hot tub. So what do you do when you have no idea? Well, you frantically start watching YouTube videos about every hot tub under the sun, hoping to give you an idea on what's going on and how to increase the temperature. Do a boil so that these people boil like lobsters and they're happy and leave a good review. Because apparently 99 and 100 isn't hot enough. So I start doing that, right? I'm like, oh my gosh, let me figure this out. So I thought it was a Hudson Bay. They think it's a lifetime. So I'm gonna, you know, assume that. So I started, you know, because I was asking them like, oh, can you send me a picture? What does it look like? You know, let me see if I can figure it out without being there and never of touching this hot tub before. So I do that, come up with a couple of suggestions. None of it works. Luckily, somebody in their group figured it out. So, then of course you apologize profusely. Tell them like, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry you had to deal with this inconvenience. I know it's your vacation. I'm sorry I didn't have an answer immediately when you asked, but I did promptly respond. And I said, let me try to figure it out. I didn't just leave them hanging, but I have no idea how to solve the problem. But at least let them know, hey, I'm trying to figure it out. So responsiveness, and, and they appreciated that. She literally said, thank you so much for your promptness and letting us know that you don't know, but you're working on it. So, you know, there's only so much you can do. I'm only one man. I don't know everything. And luckily, and, and I told them, I said, hey, look, you know, we've, we've gone back and forth a couple times with trying different things. I'm sure this is frustrating for you guys. How about this? I know it's 7 o'clock now. It's 7.20. I will, I'm a half an hour out, I will come out there and I will do everything in my power. I'll watch every YouTube video. I'll call customer service over wherever they're at and and I will, I will, I will do everything in humanly possible to solve this problem regardless how long it takes. And I was literally, I'm in my car right now, I was literally heading that way when I got that message because I was just like, you know what? I don't know how to solve this over the phone. I'm just gonna do like, the amazing manager thing and go over there and figure it out. And uh, luckily I didn't get too far. And um, so if you decide to manage an Airbnb co-host with a hot tub, there will be problems. It will break. Uh, there will be things and reasons why it's not working and you will be expected to know what it is and try to fix it. So before you agree to do all that, please, for the love of everything that you care about. Sorry, for the love of everything that you care about. Figure out how to make the hot tub work. <laughs> All right, see you guys next time.